It feels great to sit down, fine. Kyle, you, it's been a busy uh, 24 hours for you. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, you know, I woke up this morning a little tired from, you know, back to back, but, um, you know, I realized it was start of all-star weekend, and, um, you know, I'm here to have fun, and, uh, you know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, so. What does it mean to you personally to be in this event? Uh, it means a lot. Um, you know, growing up, uh, I was always that kid that kind of watched all-star weekend from uh, the TV, every single event, and, uh, you know, now that I'm playing, it, it's pretty surreal. Can you talk about some of the guys you're meeting? Um, you know, I haven't really necessarily met uh, anybody yet uh, outside of the rookies and stuff. So, uh, you know, I kind of already know those guys from being in my draft class and whatnot. But uh, you know, I'm looking forward to meet the, all, you know, all the actual all stars and uh, just people around the league in general. So, big picture, how has your game evolved from the start of the season to now? Um, you know, I think. Uh, just confidence getting better and better. Um, you know, my overall floor game, um, you know, playmaking, uh, making decisions, uh, defensively getting better. So, you know, I'm just uh, getting more and more comfortable. So, Coach, you have know, nothing to do with right on the right? <laughs> You're a very fashionable guy. If you were a superhero, which designer brand would you let create your superhero costume? Oh, Gucci. Oh, yeah, straight Gucci. Come on, man. And what would your superhero power be? Oh, um, sauce. A lot of sauce. Just to like deliver a lot of sauce, man. Okay. Yeah. Kind of one of the hosts in many ways because you're from here, you know, Lakers. What type of tips do you have for some of the guys who you're going to meet or just restaurant tips or just want to see around town? Uh, stay away from paparazzi. That's the number one thing. Uh, you know, a lot of guys don't have to deal with that in uh, their respective cities, but, you know, this is LA and, you know, TMZ is everywhere. Uh, China, a lot of basketball fans. Um, you know, China has been very good to the NBA game, uh, spreading the global brand. And uh, there's a lot of fans over there that, you know, are diehard basketball fans. So. Say something in Chinese? Yeah. Oh, let me see. I know Ni Hao, right? I know that one. Um, oof. I just did. I just did a Mandarin thing. I, I'm I'm forgetting words right now, but I got you next time. <laughs> you guys just over there with the kids, you and Brandon. It looked like you were out working them and being a much better coach. What do you think you were, you were bringing over there as opposed to Brandon and the kids? Um, you know, Brandon's still asleep right now. You know, I had to try to wake him up. Uh, you know, I was trying to block shots, bring some energy, but um, Brandon is Brandon, and you know, he was sleepy still, so uh, it didn't help him at all. Uh, shoot every time. Um, yeah, shoot every time. <laughs> 48. Oh, 40 minute games? 40, whatever it is. 40. Mm, right. Two 20 minute halves? 40. Luke was kind of like, hey, let's be a little cautious out there. But then you responded to him on Twitter. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm good. You know, uh, Luke played me uh, 14 minutes last night, so. I'm um, uh, take some energy on uh, tonight. So, <laughs> hey, on the social media, uh, you and Zoe make fun of each other a lot. You guys need to talk about how that started and what it's like playing with uh, Zoe. How good you guys can be. Um, well, you know, it all started. Uh, I think he started at first. You know, he he put you know my clothes online or something. Um, and then after that, you know, I just kind of attacked it. Try to attack his swag, you know, every single day. You know, uh, it's not very good, and um, yeah. So, but no, you know, we're great friends. Um, you know, it's great playing with him. You know, he's a good guy. Um, probably one of the closest guys on the team that I am with, and um, you know, we could be pretty special. Uh, you know, when he gets healthy and uh, can play right away. So, what do you think of Alonzo's uh, music? His music. Oh, he's a good rapper. You know, uh, he's got a lot of mainstream stuff, but, you know, I've heard his, you know, off the record raps and, um, you know, he, he's, he's pretty talented. What does he rap about? Oh, man. It's not PG-13, so. Mine? Uh, my favorite rapper is Drake. I'm a Drake guy. Kyle, knowing where you were drafted at, what does this mean to you tonight to step out here on the floor? Uh, it means a lot. Um, you know, I, I wasn't supposed to be here. Um, you know, I was 27 pick. Uh, not too many people thought I was going to uh, play the way I am. And, um, 
you know, it's just a testament to, you know, having confidence and um, work ethic and believing in yourself and, um, you know, just keeping a marathon, a marathon going. So. Carrie been tweeting about this. Carrie? Oh, uh, I don't even want to look at her Twitter today. I don't even want to. It's probably, it's probably crazy right now. I might have to tell her to shut it down for 36 hours, so. Um, I mean, this game, I'm playing in it. Um, you know, it's going to be really fun. Uh, I'm excited to get out there and compete with guys. Um, slam dunk is going to be pretty cool. My uh, my boy Larry, you know, I heard he got you know a couple of tricks up his sleeve. So, um, you know, he's a Cavalier now, but, you know, he's still my guy. So, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for him for sure. Um... I mean, it'd be cool. Um, no, uh, no, it'd be cool. You know. Kyle, you've been recognized as one of the better rookies this season, but do you still carry that? You want that mentality that you still want to prove yourself, prove yourself to everyone every single day? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think that's what life is about. Always, um, you know, there's always going to be obstacles and people that doubt you. So, it's, so it's about proving people wrong and. <laughs> Um, you know, bettering yourself and trying to be the best you. So, um, you know, every single year there's going to be something else that people are going to say I can't do or uh, you can't do in general. And, uh, you know, it's your job to, you know, put it wrong. So. Um, on the other team? Yeah. Oh, probably Joe and B. You know, I tried to dunk on him earlier this year and I missed, so I got to. Uh, got some payback for him, hopefully. But <laughs> this season's MVP. This season's MVP. Uh, ooh, James Harden. And what did you have for dinner last night? What I have for dinner? Oh, um, what I have for dinner? Uh, I had some baby back ribs and uh, scalloped potatoes. Oh man, a lot didn't change. You know, uh, coming from Flint, you know, it's um, no, not a lot there. Um, you know, basketball has like always been a safe haven for me, so I've been blessed enough to, you know, continue playing and whatnot. And you know, going to Utah was a different transition from Flint. Um, you know, going from a city that's you know predominantly African American, and you're in you know Salt Lake City is you know two different things, and then. Um, you know, coming out to the bright, bright lights of LA is, uh, you know, a culture shock from, you know, going from Utah. So uh, it's, it's been a whirlwind for sure. Any big purchases, anything, uh, anything that you Oh, man. <laughs> I got a nice little Porsche. Uh, I found out the name was Porsche. I used to call it a Porsche, but it's a Porsche. So uh, got, I got one of those. Kyle, if you look at this game, the Rising Stars game, with all this talent, uh, within this game, oh, um, probably Donovan Mitchell. Uh, you know, he's electrifying, talented, uh, scorer, uh, you know, killer instinct. You know, uh, he'll probably have a big season next year, have a lot of points. So. Uh, oh, it's cool. You know, uh, when he got drafted to the Jazz, um, you know, he was asking me uh, about Utah tips, uh, food places, you know, kind of like you. <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, we have a good relationship, talk from time to time, um, you know, congrat congratulate each other after games, good games and whatnot. So, uh, you know, he's a good friend uh, to have. So. Did the coach speak to you about how he wants to use you tonight or did guys just come out and kind of street ball? How's it? Uh, well, you know, our um, coach is the assistant coach of the Rockets. You know, they shoot a lot of threes. You know, I shoot a lot of threes, so uh, I'm going to get them up tonight. You know, that's, that's how they're going to use me. <laughs> uh, you're, you're pretty outspoken about social issues. Uh, making your voice heard on stuff beyond the basketball court. Did you see that video that came out by Laura Ingram about LeBron in particular telling athletes basically to be quiet? And what was it? Who, who, what happened? You know, the Fox News commentator. LeBron because he didn't, he left high school early, didn't have any right to speak about anything politically. Yeah. And basically said, shut up and dribble. Yeah. Her, her words. Um, do you hear stuff like that? Is that, how do you react to it? And, and does that make you more?
more boisterous about sharing your opinion and using your platform? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, I didn't see that video, but, you know, it sounds pretty, uh, you know, I don't know, it didn't, didn't sound too smart right there. But, um, you know, I think athletes should use their platform. Um, you know, a lot of us, you know, come from African-American communities um, that are, you know, impoverished, you know, people that don't have a, don't have a, you know, a say or, you know, can't can't be heard, you know, and that you know, that's I think that's our job, you know, outside of winning championships and uh, doing things like that, you know, being in the community, uh, speaking for people, using our platform to uh, gain awareness of things, you know, I think is very important, um, you know, for generations to you know keep paying it forward. So, how is it to be described as the steel, the big steel of the draft at the summit? Uh, it's cool. Um, you know, I, I knew from you know the get go I was going to have a great season, whether I was a first round pick, second round pick, or undrafted. You know, that's just my confidence. Um, you know, it, it feels good that people you know kind of recognize your hard work and uh, you know your craft. So, who's your favorite to win the dunk contest? Dunk contest? Oh, I'm going with my boy Larry Nance. I'm going with him. Uh, you know, he might have a few things uh, up his sleeve. So. Uh, he does have something. Uh, I rather don't say it so he can get a 50. You know, if I say it, you might get a 42, but something like that. Thank you. Oh, um, you know, I just want to have a you know a great, long, successful career. Uh, you know, be one of the best players. Um, you know, that's what drives me. I just want to be, you know, a great player. Uh, I work really hard in my game, and, um, you know, that's what I'm driven for, so. How close is It's very cool. You know, um, you know, my family's out here. You know, I have, like, you know, about eight people, you know, uh, friends from Flint uh, that are all, you know, kind of, coming out here and experiencing this and it's like a you know a shock you know it's a lot different you know it's a lot of bright lights a lot of you know they're not used to seeing you know my mom's not used to seeing uh her son you know get hounded by people so uh you know she's a little protective but uh you know it's it's an awesome feeling to have him you know come out to la too you know be by the beach so all of you guys were kind of underappreciated really coming into the nba Oh yeah, um, you know those are my guys. You know, um, we went to school in Utah together, uh, won a lot of games, but uh, you know, kind of went under the radar a little bit. You know, partly you know being um, in Utah, um, you know, it's not a hotbed for you know TV hoops and whatnot. So um, you know, it, it, it's really refreshing to see those guys have you know a good early you know starts to their careers in uh, Toronto. So. Uh, you know, I think he had a lot. Um, you know, every year, you know, I got better. Uh, Delon got better. Jakob got better. Um, you know, um, you know, he he has such an NBA pedigree and um, a focus on you know trying to get athletes and uh, his players better for the next level. So, uh, definitely helped us out a lot. Kyle, you might have made a controversial statement lately about choosing Waterburger over In and Out Burger. Can you explain why you why you like Waterburger? Uh, cause the fries, in and out fries are, you know, not that good. Um, yeah, I think that's part of a good burger, you got a good fries, so. Do you have, do you have a go-to, go-to water burger? Uh, I, no, I, I've only had, I, I've only had it once, but, um, you know, that one time kind of sold me over. Uh, Where'd you have it? Uh, Houston. I had it in Houston. So anytime you go to Texas, is that kind of? Just a one time, you know, I can't be, uh, I can't be eating that too much. You know, it's a little, a little greasy, but. Mm, uh, yeah, you know, I talked to, you know, him and JC, um, you know, once they got traded and, you know, we still talk, you know, from time to time, you know, it um, doesn't change, you know, we we're really close friends when um, they were here and, uh, you know, remain the same, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I was under the rim a lot of those times, too. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what he, he's going to do. Donovan number two, you think? Say it again? Donovan in second place? Uh, Donovan fourth place. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, you know, he, uh, you know, said this was my city, so, you know, I know he likes to, you know, get him up in Utah, but I told him, you know, this is my city, so, um, you know, just got to chill out a little bit tonight. Kyle, what's your friendship like with Brandon on and off the court? He seems really quiet, but I'm sure you bring it out of him a little bit. Yeah, um, you know, we call him Slender Man, uh, Tiny Dog, you know, he's a man of many nicknames. Um, you know, he's very quiet to, you know, you guys, but, um, uh, you know, he he's definitely not quiet around us. You know, he's laughing, uh, cutting jokes, um, just being goofy. So, you know, regular regular person. So. Is it fun kind of hosting everybody that's coming into L.A. to kind of get to show them around your home? Um, yeah, for sure. You know, um, a lot of guys, you know, asking, you know, where are the spots, um, you know, fun, fun things to do out here and whatnot. So, you know, I think it's fun that, uh, you know, we can host and, you know, also we can in L.A., so. Um, honestly, I have so much to do this week. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I should talk a lot. <laughs> Zoe shoes? Um, they're good. They're good. Um, you thought I was going to say something bad, huh? Yeah. Uh, I give them a nine. I give them a nine. Uh, this, the, the first shoe didn't look, look too well, but, uh, you know, they're solid, they're light, they're lightweight too, you know, it's pretty solid for off-brand shoe, so.